Hello everyone, we are back with another clothing haul. It's been a while since we've done this and y'all are always asking me, when's the next haul? When's the next haul? And y'all, it's been ages, mainly because of my travel era and then we had some other things. Am I still on my rebrand era? I don't think so. I think that rebrand era mainly about the discovery of a new style and tapping into that new style is kind of over now. Like we kind of get it a little, although we don't really have everything, everything that concludes the rebrand era. We just kind of get it. I feel like it's time to turn a new leaf. Nonetheless, that is not what matters today. That was just for my regular viewers today. We are doing another Yes Style haul. And for today, Today's sponsor video the theme is capsule closet pieces so as you know if you tuned into my previous yes style videos you know we kind of delved into the yes style catalog and tested is yes style clothing plus size friendly and you know what we'll also be doing this today except that's just not gonna be in the title because listen girl it took me a lot of scrolling to find pieces that could be plus size friendly well for me at least because I was checking the dimensions of the bus for your reference out there for any plus size girlies they do have the measurements on the clothes listing but just in case you want a frame of reference on a person around around 46 inches around 43 although most of the pieces that I chose today are mainly outerwear because a lot of the outerwear on yes style is oversized for I guess the standard sizes so you know it just warps its way into the plus sizes but not oversized <laughs> so as the theme is capsule closet I decided to choose pieces that are pretty much simple I don't really have as much so when I was selecting the clothes I was thinking about how could I wear this in my daily life but also mainly during my corporate era once I started well not necessarily necessarily only that but just for in my daily life as a grown adult <laughs> in my corporate era so I don't think I chose trendy pieces I'd like to say that they're somewhat of a, of a basic still keeps it moderate but also fun <laughs> So the first we have here is a plain white t-shirt. Yes, a plain white t-shirt. Obviously, everybody already knows that this is what you always need in a capsule closet. However, no matter how hard I try to find a plain white t-shirt in any store, in any circumstance, I don't know, I just feel like it's not looking right. The look isn't right of a plain white t-shirt. The fit isn't right. It's just not how I want it to look, especially when I'm trying to pair it with other things. So let's see how this goes as well and see if this at least <laughs> satisfies me enough. We are gonna let our hair down don't worry y'all as always all the links and timestamps to each product shown in this video will be in the description well each yes style product and if you're gonna tune in to yes style use my rewards code tina tran for a percentage off percentage varies if you don't that's fine but i'm just letting y'all know rewards code tina tran and you know what y'all this will do does it satisfy me 100 percent? no i feel like the only way that a shirt will satisfy me 100 percent is if i get a custom made right but here we are, a plain white t-shirt. This technically is oversized for the standard sizes, but here I am looking like it is a regular plain white t-shirt for me. The main thing that I'm loving about it is the neck part and how this is kind of, you know, closer to my neck, kind of thicker, kind of looks like it could pass for a turtleneck top. I'm just saying that because I have no neck. What I don't like about my other white t-shirts is the, it's a little too low cut or it's a little too baggy over here. I kind of like how it's a little tighter here, so good times. I'm not sure what I really want in the shoulder cut since the shoulder is down here do I want a little higher actually yes maybe because if it's a little higher over here I think it'll be easier to like wear a dress on top of the shirt for example but otherwise you know what this is fine but we will be using this shirt for every other outfit since everything else I'm going to show you guys is outerwear this one is not a part of this purchase but might be in my very first yes style clothing haul video that I made is this corduroy pink jacket now listen y'all this is one of my favorite jackets not just from yesta but just overall all, all the jackets that i have which is why i felt like i had to include it in this video since the theme is capsule closet and this is something that i always wear all the time i've worn this before on an instagram post with a pink skirt what else have i worn this with maybe some blue jeans light wash blue jeans and now for our next one this blazer is also another piece that has been in maybe that video the one with the pink corduroy but it was in the old video i have this brown blazer she's simple she's a blazer and i've used her during my corporate era my internship era simple 
the reason why I'm showing all this is because since I, you know, loved this blazer, you know, she fits, she works on me, she has that sense of style. <laughs> I got another color Anya style. And that, you know what? Which is black. Because I don't have a black blazer at all, actually. So, that's what I went ahead and did. Do I have a black blazer? Well, a plain black blazer. Can she close? We don't need her to. And here it is, and girl, it's just as simple as that. That's what the girls on TikTok are seeing. A capsule closet is getting one type of clothing and then buying multiple colors in it so you can just switch and match around. So, <laughs> that's what I'm attempting to do. I haven't fully assimilated myself into the capsule clothing life yet. But, you know, we're taking the tips from the girls and this is ha what we have. We have a black blazer and a brown blazer. And then it's like, do I need anything else other than, you know, if I choose to do have a different color, but it's not like I need a plaid black blazer anymore. You know what I mean? So here we are. And I feel like a, a corporate girly. Could we change this up with a different pant to make it more casual? Am I going to change my pants now? No. Could we style it with a black? Can you see? And you know what? Because I'm blind, I feel like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I literally can't see a single thing right now in the viewfinder, y'all. I just look like a black blob. I'm just hoping that it looks good. It looks good in the mirror for me. So what, what y'all think? What y'all think? Next we have here is a jean jacket, which I believe is cropped. Ow, the tag! How do we feel? I don't know about y'all, but I feel like it's just my shoulder and booby proportion. But she's looking a little droopy. And here I am wearing blue jeans, and I don't think it's making me look any better. But here, here it is, my jean jacket. Does she close? No, that's okay. We don't need to close it. And to be honest, that was how I was raised. Never closing my jacket because I was a fat child. Um, <laughs> here's the thing, y'all. I don't have that many denim jackets, or so I think. I have one jacket that is camo, and I have another one that's black, but it has like a bunch of rips in them. And to be honest, I'm not into the rips. This is why we just, you know, don't buy things that are trendy at the times because I'm not into ripped jeans. I'll be real with y'all. So I'm not gonna buy those anymore. But here it is. How do we feel? Personally, I think the blazer was more of a hit. Let's move on. Next we have is a full leather jacket. Now I've had a leather jacket before. This one is like a different kind of leather. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what the correct term for it is, but you know, it's like the leather that you wear on pants. That kind of leather that's a little more flimsy. And to be honest, I'm into this more because the other one was a little too stiff for me. But here I am, how do we feel? It's kind of giving me raincoat vibes. I feel like if I go more like this, it looks a little more fashionable, right? If I go like this, it's looking a little, it's looking a little garbage bag. Or is that just me? Uh, should I not be saying this in the video? <laughs> I just have to be honest and truthful y'all, sorry. And it does have this detailing on it. I think it's trying to go for the camping vibes. Which, in a few months, if I ever get sick and tired of it, I am taking my seam ripper and taking that off. That's fine, you know, we can always refurbish and redesign the clothes that you already have. <laughs> Moving on. And you know what? I saved this one for last, which is a hoodie, sweater hoodie. I don't know, when I bought this, I was, I kind of misinterpreted it. I misinterpreted it, but I assumed that it was, you know, like a hoodie, like a hoodie sweater. But this is uh, a lot more thin than I was expecting, so just so I don't know, in case, you know, you want to tune into it. It's not a thick one like the regular hoodie. Oh, you know what? I think it looks fine. I think the angle of the camera is a little too like this, so it makes me look a little bigger on the shoulders here, but when I look at the mirror, it looks fine. It might also be because of the fact that I'm a little blind and I can't see the viewfinder, and that's fine. This is fine. I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling a little like Jungkook right now wearing this. <laughs> like his uh, army sweater. Armist. Armist sweater. Even though, you know, that's super expensive, and I, I didn't buy it, even though the resale just happened, I didn't buy it because, you know, I'm a little poor and that's a little slanted. Anyways, just so that you know, it is on the thinner side. Personally, I don't really mind because, you know, I'm fat, so growing up, I would get overheated anyway, so this is fine for me. She's just a regular sweater, and we're here for it. And I hope the camera is picking this up right, girl, because this, this, it looks fine in the mirror. Let me slant, slant that for you a bit. Does it look fine? But, however, with that said, this is the very last piece of the haul. How do we feel, y'all? How do we feel? <laughs> you may not feel super exciting, well, because, you know, we're not buying out there trendy clothes, right? And to be honest, I feel like... Would I buy that in the future? I don't know. Well, the theme is a capsule closet, so that's why I chose to go for, which is why I chose to go for the basics. So, you know, these pieces of clothing can run down the line for a little longer. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see how that goes, and we'll see if this opens more doors to house, uh, finding more basics to contribute to the theme of the capsule wardrobe initiative. Because one thing about me is I feel like when I'm going on, I feel like I have 
have nothing to wear even though I have a bunch of stuff but it's just like you know these clothes are either too trendy to be wearing right now or they're seasonal clothes I can't really be wearing them right now or I just don't have you know the basics personally I think a basic that I do not have enough of is pants even though I do feel like I have a lot of pants I feel like not enough basic pants that I could be pairing with all these other tops and jackets that I have so we'll see how that goes in the future but that is all for this video y'all I'll see you guys later I'm pretty sure I'm sweating all the makeup into my mouth right now <laughs> thank you for tuning into this haul and you know what I'll see you guys in the next video if you plan on checking out these clothes again the links are in the description as well as my Rorge code Tina Tran if you want a discount you know if you don't want to use Tina Tran that's fine that's fine but I'm just letting y'all know I'll see y'all later bye This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a laugh. Baby, I'm making mad, and I ain't keeping ass. This is more than a crash, more than a like, like, more than a laugh. Baby, I'm making mad, and I ain't keeping ass. Don't run away, yes. don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you. Don't run away, don't run away from the truth. Cause I'm not giving up on you. Also, side note, but can you guys tell that I'm wearing makeup? <laughs> Cause, uh, I have this zit on my face. Every time I film a sponsored video, there's all of a sudden I break. I put on this Horse X blemish cover cushion that I got from Yesal a while ago, too, for another video. On just the spot where I broke out right here. I mean, obviously, you can tell there's a zit there, but it minimized the redness. And then I was like, but it looks weird if I just put it there, right? So I put it on my whole face. And I don't know, it's starting to make me feel like I'm a beauty guru or something because is this not my color? Can you tell? <laughs> if I go like this, I might look like a ghost though. But when I put the whole thing on, I was like, is this not color matching? Because they gave me like just a random one. Like there's literally, I don't, I have no idea what color this is. I don't even think there was like a shade, a shade number. I don't know. They just gave me a random one for that video. And I was like, is this not color matching? Like, is it time to start my makeup era where I just wear this? <laughs> I was shocked. Mind you, this is literally old from years ago because I don't wear makeup because I don't know how to.